I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a vote and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, 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 Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code. What good stars, bright and beautiful, interesting. But am I good or bad? The question, I believe, is rhetorical. Nein! It's a very serious question. I never do any bad things. And why? Because I was raised that way. Or maybe something's holding me back inside. Your conscience, maybe. And who is it, this conscience? How does he determine what's good and what's not so good? We're not going to get through this without an espresso machine. Oh, forget your silly machine. I really need to resolve this. <sighs> My friend, is there really any need to get upset? You've had integrity since the day you were born. It's us, ordinary mortals who are forced to struggle between right and wrong. Light, dark, good, and evil. So many riddles. Oh, Spheroscope, tell me about the nature of light and darkness. Light is a type of energy which we can see. Our eye sees a spectrum from red to violet. Therefore, our picture of the world depends on the substance's physical properties and its relation to the light and the optical spectrum. If we were able to see ultraviolet rays, then glass would not seem transparent to us. After all, ultraviolet rays cannot penetrate glass, and the world would look completely awkward in infrared light. So what is this light made of, then? It's not possible to categorically answer that question. On the one hand, light can be considered to be an electromagnetic wave. On the other hand, light is a stream of particles. These particles are called photons, and they have their own energy and zero mass. Compression! Uh, right. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> so how's the research what? coming along into good and evil? Uh, you what? Oh, that! Ah, that can wait. I learned so many interesting things about this light. There you go. Seems we did okay without the espresso machine. This needs to be implemented immediately. <laughs> Eins, zwei, ankles away! <gasps> Compression! Ha ha ha! I must tell everyone about this! Ha <laughs> Oh? And now we have the cleanest in the entire universe, Lollipop. Holy carrots! Look, my friend, mm. I've performed an incredible experiment! 96% mm. pure Lollipop! Mm. Hey, invisible pin is much more interesting. Ear twistingly good. <laughs> Now I'll show you something that's truly ear-twisting. There we go. Now let's... Uh-oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 are lollipops capable of doing that? <laughs> My sweet tooth friend, how could you be so careless in your handling and preparation of these compounds and mixtures? And why are you blaming me? Well, it wasn't me. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh, well, I never... <laughs> Ah, that was very entertaining. Here's someone who'll appreciate my invention. Rosa, it's me, Pin. 
just a little invisible. Look at the glass. It's flying all by itself. Wow, cool! A flying glass! No, Rosa! I didn't mean to! Have you gone mad? No, it wasn't me! Who then? Was it me? Stop! That wasn't funny at all! <laughs> what a nice hobby. I think for now, I, think I won't this. tell anyone about my invisibility hat. It's so much fun! <laughs> I think it was me or something. What do you need? Huh? I need a pair of really strong handcuffs, or maybe a cage. Yeah, a cage would be better, I think. You know, to be absolutely sure. You know? Huh? <laughs> what for? You see, I've been doing all sorts of bad things around here lately. The thing that bugs me about it is I don't even remember doing them. Like, not long ago, I apparently put glue in Daco's shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's always a really funny one to do. Well, no, <laughs> not really. And I even, not too long ago, placed a thumbtack on Rosa's chair. <laughs> you want to say that that was also a bad trick? Oh, it was okay, I guess. What can you expect from a goof-off like me? Oh. If only I could remember what I've done. But maybe you... I'm sleepwalking? Or uh, maybe I even have multiple personalities? No, huh? the mind got... What is it that I've done? So uh, what? Do you think you can help? I think a cage with a lock is a great solution. We don't need any kind of cage. Everything will be fine. I promise it to you. Why was I good before? Because I didn't have an invisibility hat. It's easy being good when everyone can see you. And vice versa. I could refrain. Forgive me, please. My friend, it's quite touching to try to take all the blame, but to believe that you were responsible for all that is impossible. No, integrity was built into your genes, I think. <laughs> it appears that nine. And this story about an invisibility hat is, forgive me, simply unscientific. But it's true. I'll explain the principles of my work. We already know that our atoms consist of a nucleus and electron. But there's much more free space in an atom than anything else. If an atom was a giant, giant whale, then its nucleus would be the size of a pea in its stomach. And the electrons would be tiny grains of sand on its skin. When I learned how much free space there was inside an atom, I thought that through such an empty and hole-filled atom of photons would easily fly through and everything in the world would be transparent. But this just isn't true. And that's because when a photon goes through an atom, it has to take the electron and shift it from a lower energy level to a higher one. 
If the difference between levels is not great and the photon is strong, then it easily shifts the electron and is immediately absorbed. That's why light doesn't pass right through an atom. That's how atoms of any opaque subject work. So how does light pass through transparent objects? The atoms just have a far greater distance between their energy levels. The photons try to shift the electron to a higher level, but it can't, so it continues through until it's passed through all the atoms. And in liquids and organic bodies, it's even more complicated. In addition to the electrons orbiting around, the molecules themselves are vibrating, flying here and there, rotating and changing. Through that field, it's incredibly difficult for photons to go through. But I thought up a way to increase the difference in the energy levels of my atoms and reduce the molecule vibration so the photons wouldn't get absorbed and PIN became invisible. <sighs> invisible and very bad. Neat! Can I see this thing? I already destroyed oh, it. Oh, and I almost believed you. <laughs> okay, I'll prove that I can be bad. Right, I'll take that and throw it at someone and I will be laughing. No. And? I... I can't do it. Because you're all watching me. <laughs> that is exactly what we were proving. <laughs> Just what I needed. Proving pins good. <laughs> well, it seems huh? everything worked out all right. <laughs> oh, I can't even walk at all. <laughs> <sighs> now everyone can be completely safe. <laughs> Crash. How about you doing an act of some real goodness? Oh. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, uh, uh. A moment of your attention. Oh, hey, <laughs> Pin, what's with you today? That was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, that's all me. Ha. I'm very bad penguin. <laughs> <laughs>